Welcome back, folks, to some more Ultima 6, the False Prophet. Before I get too far ahead of myself again, I actually want to completely forgot to talk to Nystal the Mage. It was pretty important to talk to as far as continuing the quest. Oh, great, he's gone. Might be in his bedroom. Everyone's dining. You see a concerned looking mage. Hail to thee, my lord. Well met. "'Twas I who learned of the peril through my mystic arts, "'so that aid might be sent unto thee. "'Iolo, I saw that thou didst find a book. "'Might I examine it?' "'Certainly, my lord. "'Perhaps thou can make better sense of it than I,' says Iolo. "'Strange. "'This has the picture cover of a gargoyle "'standing with one foot on the chest of a slain human. "'Interesting.' It's written in a language I know not. Take it to Maria, Maria, whatever, Maria Carey at Lyceum, the finest scribe on the great council of wizards. She has studied many languages, and perhaps she can decipher this book for thee. One more thing, Avatar. I noticed that thou arrived through a red gateway. Dost thou have the stone that opened the gate? Yes. From whence could it have come? The gargoyles, perhaps? Best ask Lord British about it. I believe he has some knowledge of such items. Good afternoon, Rodstock. What do thou speak of? You show Lord British the black stone. Hmm. I have such a stone, thou may recall. I did not know that there were more such orbs. It will serve thee well in thy travels if thou learn to master its powers. To open a gate, use the stone and carefully position it a few feet from thee. Thou wilt discover that the placement is the key. In the proper positions, the stone conjures gates to take thee to numerous destinations. Cool. I cannot help thee with that. We'll also talk to a tall, handsome young man. I'm glad to see thee, Ronstock. Perhaps thou canst prevail where others could not. I sent a party of ten to recapture the Shrine of Compassion from the gargoyles. Alas, they failed dismally. The survivors are recuperating in the town of Cove. Thou wouldst do well to speak with them first. Mayhap they learn something which might aid thee. I must confess, I fear the worst. The gargoyles are such powerful foes, and they are spreading so fast. Perhaps the end of the realm is nigh. Good luck, and my prayers go with thee. Speak with Gerton. Oh, by the way, you could take anything in the castle, so. I think we're going to get some meat, some more cheese here. Some butter. I like pure butter. Give me that ham and shit. We're gonna need a bag for all this food I'm taking. Borrowing. Borrowing in the name of justice! It was also pretty revolutionary for at this time for AI and NPCs to be going about their own task in town. This is something we didn't see a lot of back in the day. Pick it. Ugh. 
right, so let's give Iolo some chain here. Avatar that nice shield there. Curved heater shield, yes. What's this secret pathway? It's of course lead down to more places to fire off cannons. Eight flask of oil. Too heavy. But not for Dupree. Alright, let's get a torch lit. Make Shamino give up his man gouch. Now the system on it's a bit, uh, takes a while to get used to as far as the keystrokes. I never liked using the mouse personally. I'm not having good luck on this door here. This is going to be kind of a uh, blind playthrough since I haven't played this in quite a long time. And also, there's really no good walkthrough on the internet for this game. There's nothing that says go here, go here, do this. It's very non linear. So, it's really up to you what shrines you want to go to and what order you want to do everything. I'm assuming there's a preferred way. Do I have a fucking key that gets me? Around the sewers here. There we go. Oh, British's key works good. Shimino here, something to the north. All right, we're entering the sewers now. It's a killer rat! Still haven't quite figured out how to get the uh, sound effects on. Not sure I can. Let's kill rats.
Oh, don't exit. I totally forget what key it is that uh, turns off combat. I thought it was X or Z or something. Guess I was wrong. And of course I'm poisoned here. Alright, so as you can see, Ronstock has been poisoned. You're gonna wanna use a red potion him and that will heal him. Probably also use the healing potion at this point. Which is the yellow potion. That'll get him some more hit points back up. Got some more rats coming. Fuck you, rat! You dirty rat! I kill you! Lyla's getting crazy with that dagger. I'm gonna have to look at uh, Shimino and Dupree's attacking because they're like really pussing out on me here. Fucking poison me again. I believe poison falls off after a while. At least I hope it does. I could be in some deep shit. Fucking rats are getting annoying. Oh, Dupree's actually gonna join the fight? That's nice. That's nice of you. There we go, B, duh. Holy shit, there's a ton of these things. Hey, don't be fucking shooting Shimino now, Iola, watch it. We are killing mad rat, we're having rats stew tonight. If I can get rid of this magic cloud here with the spell book. No effect. I'm 
going for it. Everyone's poisoned. Mass poisoning. Now, this lady here, as you can see, is heavily equipped. She's a graceful silver-haired woman in robes of blue. She eyes you suspiciously. What do you want? I am Phoenix. I used to be captain of the Black Tachu. But now I'm members of the Thieves Guild, and I don't care who knows it. Britain is the wealthiest city in the world, and I make a tidy living sneaking up there at night to liberate a few possessions. Of course, I only steal from those who have too much wealth for their own good. Tichu. She was the finest ship that ever sailed, but those days are past. The crew scattered to the four corners of the earth, and to choose off amongst the stars. We were at part one day when the anchor chain snapped, and Tichu drifted off the edge of the world. I'd join her if I could sail through space. The world is flat, you know, she eyes you appraisingly. Surely any well-educated person would be aware of that. About time you're on your way, one thing before you go. She draws her dagger. Don't tell anyone where my hideout is. If you do, some night you'll go to sleep and never wake up again. You'll never know it was coming. She turns and throws the dagger into a little mouse that was sniffing around for food, pinning it to the wall by its tail. Stealing your swamp boots, bitch. I don't know if we're all poisoned or if we're fucked. I mean, I honestly haven't played this game in so long, I couldn't tell you. Well, that is 30 gold nuggets. We're taking that. Visibility ring. Finding all kinds of cool shit. The question is, is am I gonna die? attack chest you can't get into. That's what I do. Now I remember I used to surround that bitch with powder kegs. And that was a real easy way to kill her. Problem is, is I don't have any power kicks. Come back down here later when I'm not about to die. An unending darkness engulfs thee. The voice in the darkness intones, Carlo! A torch is burned out. And look at that! We're all back to full health, back at Lord British's castle! Fantastic!
Ring of Invisibility. Alright, let's get rid of some shit here. Gonna try something here. We're going back into the sewers, baby. Shimino, equip a torch, my friend. We're gonna pay another visit to that pesky thief bitch. Attack this fucking rat. Now I'm not sure if swamp boobs protect me from poison. I think they just... No. See, they don't. Of course, these fuckers are no help. You better run, you little cock-sucking bastard. Looks like all the monsters respawned. So we'll have to kill them yet again. And by monsters, I mean giant rats that are more of an annoyance than anything. All right, this time we're sending Ron stock by himself. Save, equip the ring, and attack this bitch. Boom! She can't see, so just beat the shit out of her. You are a thief! You shall no longer steal from Batania, you dirty whore! I will fuck you with the sword! This is gonna be really embarrassing if I die of poison before I can kill a lady that can't even see me. I 
bitch. I think I can, I think I can. She's running, that means she's messed up. You will die, you dirty hooker! Name of Lord Bishop. All right, it's time to resort to other measures. Terrible aim with the wand, by the way. Is this bitch gonna fucking die? Holy shit! Days later, Finally died after four million fucking hits. Now if you use a powder keg, it's a lot easier. The point is, is that we get uh, magic armor right off the bat. This makes Avatar very, very tough. And me like a tough avatar. Wow, sorry I made you sit through uh, 14 fucking thousand minutes of me destroying bitches. Also, the glass swords there, they do 255 hit points of damage. They pretty much obliterate anything that you hit. So we're going to save those or any uh, badass monsters that we want to kill with one hit, basically. And now the question is, is can we make it back to Lord British in one piece? These rats won't be hitting me. Now I just need a magic weapon. Ah, but let us not forget of the trusty Moonstone here. If ever you are in need, you get back to the throne room in O'Harry, which in this case we are. Use the Moonstone. Depending on your position, you can throw it in any of these locations. Up to two squares away. Diagonally as well. It'll take you to different places. 
This happens to take us right back to the throne room. Now we can talk to Lord British and say heal. And the whole party's healed. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, folks. Oh, wait, no, see, that's video is what I meant to say. Look at that beautiful magic armor. And we're only two videos deep. Fantastic.